Yes, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Lifelines of Indian economy. Lifelines of national economy. Chapter number six from geography. Lifelines of national economy. Lifelines of national economy. Lifelines means the role of veins and arteries in a human body as a transmit of blood in a different organs. Such parts of a body where the blood can't reach, they may as a dead. It will be not function. Their function has affected. Same as the means of transport and a communication, they play the role of a lifelines in economy. Those parts of a country where the goods can't reach, goods can't reach under such circumstances that that part of a country it can't as grow. It can't grow. So carrying the passengers, carrying passengers and the goods from one place to another, one place to another by interlinking the producers and the consumers producers and consumers to serve as the backbone of the economy. Modern means of transport are the lifelines of a nation. In the past, limited means of transport and communication compelled humans to live in a small and isolated communities, like as a villages, forest lands, like as a tribals, etc. With the growth of a trade, growth of trade in a world economies, growth of a trade, which also flourish as a growth of a means of transport also. But earlier as a trade, it, it was being as a restricted to a limited areas. With the <clears throat> development of a science and technology and modern means of transport and communication. Now the goods, it can be a, as a move easily from the production centers to the consuming areas, expanding the area of influence of trade. It is that that sense in which as uh, the means of transport add value to the com uh, commodities, commodities in economy. The movement of uh, goods and services takes place over uh, land, water and air is that includes under the means of transport which are includes under the means of transport. <clears throat> the movement of goods services <clears throat> takes place over a land, water and air are conclude, they are include under the <clears throat> transport. <clears throat> so that there are the five corresponding means of a transport are there, roadways, railways, waterways, airways and pipeline transportation and pipeline transportation. Our chapter, it's a very simple chapter. <clears throat> it's also a very simple, easy chapter, lifelines of Indian economy, nothing present in this chapter, very simple, which has broadly divided into two parts, <clears throat> transport and communication and communication. Transport and communication. There are three <clears throat> important means of transport. Land, water, air. Land, water, and air. Land transport, which has includes the railways, railways, roadways, and pipeline transportation. <clears throat> Pipelines transportation. Pipelines, transportation. Waterways are also having their two of their forms which are practicing in our country as inland waterways, inland waterways and overseas, international waterways, overseas waterway, which has functioned to as the sea and oceans, inland waterways are work. They are functioned to the rivers and the lakes. Airways divided into two parts, domestic airways within a country, international airways in between of countries in between of countries 
we can see as a international or international international within a country international between other countries communication having the two of their aspects which we really as discuss personal communication from one person towards as the other dhavnesh to the chayan nana to the khushi personal communication and when the trans information transmitting at a larger scale from a one individual towards as a 26 number of individuals over 10th as a mass communication mass communication this much is our chapter very simple chapter clear aditi very simple easy chapter so let's start the chapter from the road wheels first of all from a road wheels <clears throat> from road wheels road wheels they play as an important role in economy as compared to the other means of a transport roadways are significantly important for a growth of economy roadways india's first metal road metal road it was known as the sorry it is known as the shesha suri marg shesha suri marg it was constructed around as a 1536 ad it was as a time period when the humayun Homa, you leave the country, and uh, Delhi controlled by the Shesha Suri, the ruler of Patna, Shesha Suri. During their tenure, the India's first metal road constructed in between of a, in between of Sonar Gaon, Sonar Gaon to the Peshawar, Peshawar. Presently, the, these two regions were the part of India. Sonar Gaon presently it's in a Bangladesh. Peshawar in a Pakistan. It was as a total length. Total uh, these two are the transitional centers of a Shesha Suri Marg. That Shesha Suri Marg, there uh, it delimited after the independence, after the partition of a country, in between of a Amritsar to the Delhi, which is now as presently known as a National Highway One. National Highway One. That National Highway One, which has go to the Delhi. <coughs> Delhi, Delhi, Panipat, Sonipat, Nilokeri, Ambala. These are the districts of Haryana. Then afterwards, as a Rajput, Rajpura, Rajpura, through as a Ludhiana, through Jalandhar, through Amritsar, Kapoorthala, and Amritsar. That national highway one extends in between of Amritsar to the Delhi, Amritsar to Delhi. The extension of a national highway one. there are the more than 80 national highways constructed in india national highways constructed in india by the cpwd department central public works department and for their maintenance maintenance of such national highways nhai is also responsible national highways authority of india national highways authority of india also responsible for the construction and maintenance of a national highways india has the <clears throat> one of the largest road networks in the world which has occupying the 2.3 million kilometers of a total length of roadways 2.3 km million kilometers at present having as the roads in which as the uh, presence of a road in a state it has expressed through the road density the total number of a roads which are present in a present in a country these are expressed through the road density the length of a road per 100 square kilometer of area is called the road density the length of roads per 100 square kilometer square kilometer is known as the road density according to the this criteria the highest road density has existed in a kerala highest road density present in a kerala which is as around the in kerala road density is the 375 kilometers 375 kilometers in kerala and the lowest road density is present in a jammu and kashmir around 10 kilometers 10 kilometers due to the undulating surfaces the mountainous areas which are not favorable for a construction of a means of a transport especially as a railways and a roadways because of which 
there is the road density as 10 kilometers in a Jammu and Kashmir, 375 kilometers in a Kerala with the highest road density. With highest road density. With the growing importance of a road transport in India, road transport in India, it has significantly important for the economic growth in India. What are the features of Indian roads? Advantages. Advantages. First, roads are providing as a door-to-door -door service. Door-to-door -door service. Roads are providing as a door-to-door -door service. Second, door-to-door -door service. Second, roads are preferable for a shorter distances. Roads are preferable for a shorter distances. Shorter distances. If the Diksha living in a somewhere outskirts in a, somewhere in a Jalandhar can, if she moved towards as a Jalandhar city or a Kaputhala, she will prefer to use as a roads, neither as a railways. For a shorter distances, favorable for the to cover as a shorter distances, we will use as a road transport. Road transport are the cheap and easy to construct and maintain. Road transport is a cheaper and easy to construct and maintain in any area. In any area. Construct and maintain. This has covered under the advantages of a roads. Roads are important. Roads are important for transport of, for transport of different categories of goods and passengers. Goods and passengers for a medium distances. Movement of a goods and passengers, which can be as easily transported for a medium of a shorter distances, for which we prefer for a roadways. We prefer the roadways. Next, as a road, roads provide as a quick transportation of a perishable goods like vegetables, fruits, milk. Such kind of a perishable goods, it can be as easily transported through the roadways. If, if the perishable goods are moving through as the railways or either as a waterways, then it needs as a processing. Processing means uh, the, that particular kind of a product, it will be as a pressurized. Under such circumstances, more capital investment required. But as compared to this, the perishable goods, these are preferably to move from one place to another through the means of roadways. Means of roadways. Next six is a roads. It can be as built and used in a uneven and undulating surfaces. Roads can construct in a uneven and undulating surfaces. In a plateau, mountainous regions in such areas, we can construct as a roadways. We can construct the roadways in a uneven undulating surfaces like as a plateaus and a mountains. If we wish to construct as a railways in a mountainous regions, we have to construct the, we have to make a tunnels which needs, which needs as a more investment, more expenditure. But as compared to this, along the slopes of our mountains, along slopes of mountains in a circular form, we can, we can construct the roadways. We can construct the parts of Himachal Pradesh. Next, roads, it connect the fields with the markets. Roads connected with the fields, fields to the industries, industries to the markets, industries to the poor cities, for which as a preferably as the roadways are preferred. Roadways preferred to movement of a goods from a field, agriculture fields from a mining sites towards as an industry, industry towards as a market, for which as the roads are preferable. Roads are preferable. Clear? So we have the different types of the roads in our country. In our country, such types of the roads are based upon a capacity. Capacity of a transporters availed by them. In which the first category as a expressways. Expressways. First as expressways. Till there are any questions? Expressways. Any questions? Expressways. 
express waves these have been planned to meet the requirements of express waves have been construct to meet the need of fast movement of traffic in the country and reduce the time and distance between the cities of india cities of india these types of express ways are directly managed by the construct maintained by the nhai national highways authority of india national highways authority of india responsible to construct and maintain the roadways in express ways in india there are about the 13100 km of a total number of express ways are constructed these are constructed express ways constructed which are now as presently known as a golden quadrilateral roads golden quadrilateral roads golden quadrilateral roads these are the those roads which are interconnecting the metropolitan cities metropolitan cities mumbai delhi kolkata chennai these four metropolitan cities are interconnected with the golden quadri quadrilateral roads these are the six lane roads six lanes means the first lane is a preferably used for heavy vehicles second lane used for the light weight vehicles like as a four wheeler car auto rickshaws and the third lane is a service lane third lane is a service lane which is used by the people belong from the localities when you are seeing as the gt road national highway 1 which has run through as the jalandhar pap to the pap to the amritsar that road is a four lane road two lanes are used for the long distances vehicles and there are the two service lanes are there which are either both both the sides are used by the those inhabitants which are living in a both the sides of a roads service lanes express ways are the 6 to the 8 lane roads 6 to 8 lane roads to solve the problem of a congestion in a roads congestion in roads for which as the 6 to 8 lane 6 to 8 lane roads are constructed under the express ways under the express ways under this phenomena of the express ways nhai responsible to maintain the india's two long roads which are known as a north south corridor north to the south corridor north shrinagar shrinagar to kanyakumari 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 shrinagar to kanyakumari are the two transition centers which are connect, interconnected with the different number of uh, sub stations for example that road moves from uh, shrinagar to shrinagar to pathan kot to shrinagar pathan kot jalanda shrinagar pathan kot jalanda jalanda ludhiana ambala ambala panipat panipat delhi panipat delhi panipat delhi bina next bhopal nagpur nagpur hyderabad hyderabad bangalore bangaluru bangaluru hyderabad bangaluru madurai and finally it joins with the kanyakumari i am again repeating as a transition centers of a north south corridor are the shrinagar towards the kanyakumari road constructed from shrinagar to pathan kot to jalandhar ludhiana ambala panipat delhi bina bhopal nagpur hyderabad bangaluru madurai 
Madurai and Kanyakumari. Madurai in Tamil Nadu, then Kanyakumari. East-West Corridor, East-West Corridor, the easternmost extent of an East-West Corridor marked by the Silcher, S-I-L-C-H-A-R. Silcher in Assam towards Porbandar in Gujarat. Silcher in Assam to Porbandar in Gujarat. Poor Bandar in Gujarat. Poor Bandar in Gujarat. This road is constructed from a Silchar Assam to Guwahati. Silchar to Guwahati to Siliguri. 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 Darjeeling, West Bengal. Darjeeling, West Bengal. Darjeeling. West Bengal, Darjeeling, West Bengal, Purnia, P U R N E A, P U R N E A, Mujaffar Nagar, Lucknow, Kanpur, Allahabad. Allahabad, Shipuri, Shipuri, Udaipur, Udaipur, Rajkot and Porbandar, Rajkot and Porbandar. This is as extent of the East-West Corridor, East-West Corridor. Second category of roads are the National Highways, National Highways. Afterwards, the expressways, national highways, national highways, expressways managed by the NHAI, national highways constructed and managed by the Central Public Works Department, Central Public Works Department. Central Public Works Department constructed and maintained by the Central Public Works Department. They connect one state, one state capital with the another state, state capitals. These are interconnected with the state capitals, interconnected with the state capitals, one state with another. There are now as presently the 96,200 kilometers, 96,200 kilometers total length of a national highways, which are constitutes the 1.7 percentage of total road network. 1.7 percentage of total road network. Total road network. Next are the state highways. State highways, state highways, state highways are constructed and maintained by the State Public Works Department, State Public Works Department, State Public Works Department. State Public Works Department. There are about 1.3 lakh kilometers of state highways. 1.3 lakh kilometers of a state highways which are interconnecting the state capital state capital with district with district headquarters with district headquarters means that road that road which is opted by the Devita to move from Chandigarh Mohali and Chandigarh these are interconnected the state capital with the district headquarters, district headquarters, state highways. Next are the district roads, district roads, district roads, which are construct, which are constructed by the Zilla Parishads, Zilla Parishads. 
जिला परिषद दे आर हैविंग अ पी डब्ल्यू डी डिपार्टमेंट पब्लिक वर्क डिपार्टमेंट जिला परिषद रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू कंस्ट्रक्ट एंड मेंटेन द रोड इन डिस्ट्रिक्ट रोड इन डिस्ट्रिक्ट दीज डिस्ट्रिक्ट हाईवेज डिस्ट्रिक्ट रोड दे कनेक्ट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर्स विद द प्लेसेस इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट means that road which has moved from a jalandhar towards a adampur jalandhar towards a nakodar jalandhar to the phellor phellor district headquarters to the different places of a district which are construct and maintained by the zila parishad next are the village roads village roads which are interconnected in the village areas villages to the cities are in between of a two villages these are most number of a roads are the unmetal roads but in such of the villages in most number of the villages the such roads are village roads are constructed and maintained under the pradhan mantri pradhan mantri gramin gramin सड़क योजना सड़क योजना प्रधानमंत्री ग्रामीण सड़क योजना सड़क योजना सपोर्टेड फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड मेंटेन द रोड इन रूरल एरिया इन रूरल एरिया रूरल एरिया लास्ट आर द बॉर्डर रोड सिक्स टाइप ऑफ रोड आर द बॉर्डर रोड border routes which are constructed and maintained by the bro border routes organization border routes organization border routes organization bro bro is a function bro responsible to interlink interlink the villages located at the borders of a country at the borders of a country borders of the country bro established in the 1960 1960 in 1960 which functions bro functions with collaboration of with collaboration of i t b p f and bsf bsf border security force bro border roads organization collaborated with the border security force to maintain the roads in a border areas of indo pak border means the border regions of punjab rajasthan gujarat and jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir these roads are managed by the borders of indo pak border and india bangladesh border in such areas the villages are interconnected with the interconnected with the border roads managed by the bro with collaboration with the bsf in the indo china border means the such part of the borders which are shared with the jammu and kashmir uttarakhand himachal pradesh sikkim and arunachal pradesh arunachal pradesh in such areas villages are interconnected with the with collaboration of itbpf indo tibetan border police force indo tibetan border police force which joined with the bro border roads organization for construction and maintenance of roads in a india china borders means the such parts of a borders in a jnk uttarakhand sikkim himachal pradesh and arunachal pradesh arunachal pradesh these are the important categories of a roads which are used in our country for a for a various purposes for various purposes these roads are of the strategic importance in the northern and the north eastern border areas these roads help to help it to construct the roads in a difficult terrain to get connected with the rest of the country and have helped in the economic development of these regions 
इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दीज रीजन नाउ द प्रॉब्लम एसोसिएटेड विद द रूट वॉट आर द प्रॉब्लम एसोसिएटेड विद द रूट चैलेंजेस विद द रूट नेटवर्क सिस्टम फर्स्ट द नेशनल हाईवेज नेशनल हाईवेज दे आर इन एडिक्वेट इन आर कंट्री एज फॉर द प्रेजेंट डिमांड दे आर नॉट सफिशियंट नेशनल हाईवेज आर इन एडिक्वेट सेकेंड मोस्ट नंबर ऑफ अर रोड स्पेशली इन विलेज एरिया आर अनमेटल्ड रोड्स आर अनमेटल्ड अनमेटल्ड देयर यूज इज अ लिमिटेड ड्यूरिंग एज द रेनी सीजन ड्यूरिंग इन अ रेनी सीजन थर्ड मोस्ट नंबर ऑफ रोड आर फेसिंग एज अ कंजेशन कंजेस्टेड इन सिटीज कंजेस्टेड इन सिटीज इन सच एरिया इन सच एरिया फ्लाई ओवर ब्रिजेस आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अ रोड बट इट increase as a expenditure expenditure or a burden upon a government burden upon a government road network is inadequate in our country and the distribution of roads is not uniform distribution of roads in throughout the country is not uniform this is as unequally distributed roads are unequally distributed over a parts of a country parts of country next problem encroachment encroachment by sellers encroachment by sellers encroachment one simple example is there when road side areas roads are generally used for a movement of the goods and the passengers but under such circumstances when the roads encroached by the sellers then what will be happen it will be as a lead to the traffic jams traffic jams so road side amenities and facilities they are the poor like as emergency health services and the safety are also poor in our country next seventh as a road accidents road accidents which is as a threat to the life threat to the life threat to life now the modernizations in a roadways what kind of the modernizations introduced in a roadway network first as a cemented road india's first cemented road which is known as a yamuna expressway yamuna expressway yamuna expressway who will answer this it has to provide as a public facilities roads cover under the public facilities so in sufficient number of a funds responsible for the construction of a such roads by the private companies government hired the companies private individuals for construction of a roads roads constructed by the private company after the construction they start to collect as a toll tax when they are collecting as a toll tax some percentage for example as 40 60 ratio 60% used by the that particular individual which has spending which investing the money for a construction of road and 40% given to the government 40% given to government so their expenses it can be as a complete to the collection of a toll tax as 60% such road rights given to the individual for the period of 10 to 15 years after uh, after completion of the 15 years such road rights it will be as a transferable to the government that's why build operate system in build operate system roads are constructed in india roads constructed in a build operate system build operate and transfer system roads constructed by the companies they are constructed they are maintained the roads after a some span of time such road rights these are transferable towards the government this is as a board system which is has associated with the modernization in a roadways modernization in roadways third is a underground tunnels are built for a roadways underground tunnels these are generally constructed in areas of a high density high density like mumbai